Now I'm going to actually go in and change the pen pressure to also help me in creating some of these details. By default, the pen pressure, uh, the minimum size goes from zero on up to 100. So what that means is if I press very, very lightly on the mesh, I've got a small diameter, and as I press harder and harder, the stroke gets larger over time based on my pressure that I'm pushing down on the tablet. I'm actually going to go ahead and set that to 100. And I'm going to undo that stroke. <clears throat> and now you'll notice when I actually sculpt, the details will be set, or the diameter of the details will be based on my brush size. So if I want larger de set of details, I can go ahead and paint those in that way. Just to make my brush size a little bit smaller, and we're going to go ahead in and add in some position jitter. And now you can see that my stroke has a lot more randomization to it, and it's going to allow me to create more natural surface details. If I hold the control key and then brush, we'll actually press those details inwards into the mesh. In addition to position, we can also set some rotate, we can set scale, and we can also set strength to give it additional randomization. We can also do flip, randomize X and Y, and some other things there. So just go ahead and brush. And if we go ahead and change the stamp image that we're using, you can actually see the stamp image under the stamps tab here. And I go ahead and brush again. You can see I can get a nice natural texture that way on the surface.